Happy Friday, everybody. October the 11th of 2024. This is Litter Media Live. I'm Mike Smith, along with Aaron Glandon. When he's on camera, we don't refer to him as Mr. Hand, too. Mr. Face. He's Mr. Face. Yes. Everybody's working for the weekend, they used to say. I, I know the song. Lover Boy. Yeah. My dad used to play that on Friday mornings when he drove us to school. Is that right? Yes. He must have had a CD player. No. He had it on his iPod. Okay. Yeah, I've got some great tunes on CDs that, you know, in cars today, they don't put CD players. Yeah, my car doesn't have a CD player. So if you have any suggestions on how I can uh, get some of those CDs where I can listen to them again, let me know. I have a record player in my apartment. I can't use that in a car. Yeah, can't do <laughs> the record that. record might skip, yeah. I'm surprised cassettes worked in cars. Oh, that's what you had. Or... E- Back in the old day, the eight tracks, yeah, yeah, and stuff like that. We're we're really going back in time. Weather, hello, sunshine again today with a high of seventy three, low fifty. If you're going to the high school football games tonight, temperatures at kickoff will drop down to sixty four, seven o'clock, and by the end of the ball game around ten, they're saying fifty six. So you mm. will want to have a sweater or a jacket. Partly cloudy skies for the weekend, but warmer with highs of 74. Did anybody go out and see the northern lights last night? You know, typically this is something that we don't get to see in our area, but there's been a number of times throughout the course of this year that Southern Ohio has been able to glimpse this. And this is from the John Glenn Observatory over at Hocking Hills State Park. But I was seeing uh, pictures like this uh, from Fairfield County, Pickaway County, uh, there was a, a gal and her husband uh, that you both that we both know that lives there in Frankfurt, and she was taking all kind of neat pictures. And we went outside in our yard. We're just down the street. We can't see anything. Was it? Was it? Because I know the one in May, you saw it better with pictures than you did with the naked eye. Was this one the same thing? Well, I don't know. I can't say because I couldn't see. <laughs> because my my friends texted me and they said, look outside it's the northern lights and I, I looked up at the sky i was in chillicothe the same place as them i didn't see anything yeah uh, our daughter who lives about five miles out but she's out in the country where there's no light pollution and she was out there and she was driving around she said i can't see anything out yeah. here either so that uh-huh. might have been the case she had to just take a picture of the sky and come out with something i don't know but uh, i don't know if they're going to be seen as prevalently tonight uh, or not but they were in full color last night uh some news topics to tell you about we've got some video of t- speaking of colors uh, dan ramey went out and got some uh, video of the changing color of the leaves in the huntington hills all that's coming up here on litter media live Sayuta valley dumpsters 253-8389 for a free quote and if you need it for a day or a week or two weeks carl can get you what you need Ross and surrounding counties, Scioto Valley Dumpsters. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Discover Ross County. From the breathtaking outdoor adventures to the historic sites of Chillicothe and family-friendly events and festivals, Explore more at visitchillicotheohio.com or download the free mobile app today. Tomorrow, Texas Roadhouse's second annual Battle of the Badges Rib Eating Challenge begins at 11 a.m., Proceeds benefit Big Brothers Big Sisters of South Central Ohio, members of the Chillicothe Fire, EMS, and Police Departments, along with the Ross County Sheriff Department, Ohio State Highway Patrol, and Township EMS will face off in the contest. There's also a Touch a Truck event, too, so bring the kids. It all starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Texas Roadhouse on North Bridge Street in Chillicothe. Will you be there? You know, I have some ribs. I have never been a ribs guy. Me neither. But... A lot of people love them, and this ought to be a lot of fun just to watch, even yeah. if you don't like to eat yeah. ribs, just to watch them dig into all of that. That's coming up again tomorrow. 
Here's some of the topics, uh, beneficial news that you can use. And if you go to our website, uh, littermedia.com. Yeah, even on the weekend. Uh, of course, weeknights, uh, Saturday night, uh, high school sports scores yeah. are on our score page. And it has Check links to our YouTube page. You can see some of the band performances from this Sunday's um, Ross County Band Festival. Mm-hmm. And the rest of those will be up this weekend. So check that out. Yeah. Hey, there's a book signing coming up tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Jeffersonville Community Library. That's over in Fayette County. Stop by and meet Karen Edwards Cook. She is a local Fayette County author and the author of this book called The House on the Corner. Yes. So check that out. Uh, get a chance to meet Karen. And I'm sure she'll be happy to sign a copy of her book for you. Also tomorrow, celebrate 100 years of Hocking Hills State Park with a special anniversary hike. Lace up your trail shoes for a challenging 4.5-mile guided trek through the vibrant fall colors on what was recently named by USA Today as the number one hike in America. This starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow from Old Man's Cave Visitor Center, and this adventure will take you along the Grandma Gatewood Buckeye Trail to Whispering Cave and back. Have you ever been to Whispering Cave? I've never been to Whispering Cave. I just wonder if it whispers kind of like this. Annual fall color festivities will be offered by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources at the historic Hocking State Forest Cabin in Conkles Hollow State Nature Preserve. That'll be the weekend of October the 26th. Both events are family-friendly and offer a variety of autumn fun, including beautiful fall colors, and you can get more information about that in our website story. Also, speaking of fall colors, I was asking Dan earlier this week on the show if he'd noticed any of the leaves changing color down in uh, the area that he lives. So he took a flying trip over top of the Huntington Hills and saw a lot of this. Of course, this is a Merle Shoemaker Athletic uh, Complex at Huntington High School, but the woods and the trees that surround the, the stadium and the track, you can see that they are starting to change their color yeah, there's still a lot of green but you can see the oranges and the yellows in there mm-hmm. not as deep of a red as we're going to see in the coming weeks though yeah, that'll probably they, they talk about uh, the colors they just explode it just seems like all at once and yeah. uh, by the way if uh, i know in the years past we've done a story but we've done it two or three times so by now you should know, but if you don't, you can go to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources website and they have a link that gives you the what they call the fall colors update. And that typically changes every week as far as that update where they can tell you where some of the more uh, vibrant colors uh, that of that week can be found, uh, not only in Southern Ohio, but all around the Buckeye State. Jackson County Soil and Water Conservation District will be hosting their annual banquet on October 24th at 6 p.m. RSVP by calling 740-286-5208. Yeah, that's uh, Jackson County. Ross County usually has theirs uh, in uh, late August. A road report for Athens County. A slope stabilization project is taking place on State Route 144 between Mountain Bell Road and State Route 7 in Athens County. One lane is closed. Traffic is being maintained with temporary signals through November the 1st. A lot to tell you about in sports, not only what happened last night, but what's coming up tonight and for the weekend. All ahead at Litter Media Live. Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, your trusted comfort advisor for more than four decades. So we were talking a little bit about the changing colors of the leaves. Well, typically that also means the change of temperature. We're going from kind of air-conditioned weather to heating. In fact, some days you're, you're using both. Make sure that furnace is working the way it should. Give Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing a call. Find a career you love with Pick Away Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pick Away Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Each week, we'll announce the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Litter Media Player of the Week, presented by Homeland Credit Union. And in December, we'll announce the Player of the Year. 
Nominate any amateur athlete by visiting littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. You'll also see the players we've named throughout the year. Make your nomination today for the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Littermedia Player of the Week, presented by Homeland Credit Union. I was looking for a first job. Um, I had been babysitting and decided it was something for a little more permanent. It pays very well. It's convenient. You can make your own schedule with the flexibility. That's something that I like. The people that I work with are great. I wouldn't ask for a better crew or management team to work for. I'm a busy woman, and I'm not ready to slow down. Tiffany's hip pain was interfering with her career and active lifestyle until she came to the Adena Orthopedic and Spine Institute. Dr. Meshbach told me about same-day surgery. I said, I want it now, and I wanted it yesterday. After a successful procedure, Tiffany was home the very same day and on her way back to enjoying the community she calls home. At Adena, we do what we love, so you can too. Taking a look at sports, don't forget to join Litter Media Radio tonight out at Jackson's Alumni Stadium. This is a biggie. Uh, the co-leaders in the Frontier Athletic Conference, both undefeated in the league, Miami Trace at Jackson. Jackson has won all seven meetings between these two schools. Miami Trace obviously hopes to change all of that. Right. Join us tonight, 6.50 airtime on our Litter Media app which uh, you can find on our website if you see that um, qr code just hover over it and it'll take you right there and you can also use it on the mobile app which is live 365 yes add waverly's claire morrison to the list of state tennis participants aaron you took more. you took my story tell us more about claire is the top seed coming out of the southeast district with state tournament draw yet to be determined, but uh, as that becomes available, you can find it on littermedia.com, where Mike will put it. So now we have two singles players, Claire Morrison and also uh, Bella Flores of Chillicothe, and we have a doubles team from Logan Elm. So that's pretty good to get yes. uh, actually three entries from our area into the state tournament. We wish all of those ladies the best of luck. Adina Volleyball completed a 14-0 SVC season, the first SVC gold volleyball since Uniota did it in 2017, and the Warriors first since 2015. Adina, this is their 16th in school history. They must have a pretty good coach or something. Well, she's got good guidance at home, I, I think. But Bloom Carroll in the Mid-State League Buckeye also finished out a perfect 12-0 season last night. It also just happens to be their third consecutive volleyball league championship. So congratulations to those. And now we look at the scoreboard uh, elsewhere last night. Casey Carroll of Huntington picked up her 1,000th career kill. The Huntington senior leading her huntsman to a thrilling five-set win over Uniota. Westfall beat Paint Valley in four, and we're still trying to find out what happened in the Southeastern Zane Trace match last night. In the Buckeye from the Mid-State League, other than Bloom Carroll's win over Amanda, Circleville swept Fairfield Union and Logan Elm likewise over Liberty Union. In the TVC, Athens garnered a share of the league championship with a win over Alexander. Nelsonville, York had already clinched a share. Athens will join them with a share. Benton County and Fed Hawk were all winners. And in the uh, Southern Ohio's Athletic Conference, Fairfield beat Fayetteville. Now, in the OCC, Logan beat Taze Valley in three sets to clinch the OCC Buckeye Championship. Newark over Lancaster, Groveport, uh, Madison beat uh, Canal Winchester. Other area matches, these were all non-conference. Wheelersburg, who already wrapped up their league, they went over Jackson. Notre Dame already a league champ. They beat Valley and New Lex which will probably be seeing those kids in Division Five tournament play. An easy win over Philo. In the OVC, Fairland over Portsmouth. Chesapeake beat Ironton. In boys soccer, Unioto beat Westfall 8-1. Uh, Middletown Christian beat Fairfield 3-zip. Zane Trace over Miami Trace 4-1. South Webster 7-1 over Jackson. Wheelersburg beat Minford 3-0. Hillsboro 3-zip over Clinton Massey. Taze Valley beat Briggs 5 to nothing, And Lynchburg Clay 
over Western Brown, four to nothing. In girls soccer, Miami Trace shuts out Zane Trace seven to nothing. Unioto blanked Westfall nine zip. Fairfield over Jackson one to nothing. And probably what is described as the upset of the night. The reporters that were texting me on this down there said, nobody saw this coming. Minford thumped Wheelersburg girls 11-1. to 1. Uh, Everybody thought Wheelersburg would win that one. Lynchburg play and uh, Western Brown girls tie at 2-2. And you have the next story as well? Now, this weekend, this is something that I can't ever remember the OHSAA doing with state high school golf typically with the various divisions it's scattered out over like three weeks well not this year the state golf tournament gets underway this weekend in fact division three boys golf is today and tomorrow at the north star golf club in sunbury division two girls and boys will play sunday and monday at firestone country club in akron and the Division I Girls and Boys Tournament will be Monday and Tuesday at the NCR Country Club in Kettering. Now, I saw this morning that the Division Three boys, they had delayed that until 10 o'clock. So that started about an hour ago because of frost Yes, on the golf course. So that delayed it. But all of that is being played over the next three or four days instead of over two or three weeks like we've seen in the past so for all of the local golfers that are participating from our area we'll keep uh, up to date with that and you can follow that information on our social media as well as littermedia.com and the svc cross country meet is this weekend tomorrow at huntington starting at 11 a.m um, i'm correct in assuming that the middle school middle school goes first and then yes. the high school Yes, and uh, I went out to Frankfurt last year when they had the meet, and that, that really draws a, a, a huge crowd. I, I was really surprised how many people were out there. When I was in high school, I never got to run on the Adena course, but I remember the Huntington course, and that one was, that one was a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's tomorrow morning. I think uh, SOC, Mid-State League, I think probably a lot of those will be running uh, tomorrow as well. The Cleveland Guardians stay alive in their divisional series against the Tigers. They won last Last night, five to four, the fifth and deciding game will be played tomorrow. So good luck, Guardians. Also a pretty big sports matchup tomorrow. The number two Buckeyes will hit the road for a 7.30 p.m. primetime matchup against number three, Oregon, in Eugene. Saturday's game will be broadcast on NBC, and the Ohio Bobcats will take on Central Michigan tomorrow at 4 p.m. So the Buckeyes running up against the quack attack yes. out in Oregon. So that'll be, I don't think they've, they met in 2014 in the national championship, but I think Oregon played them at Columbus. I don't know, five or six years ago and upset Ohio state. So that uh, should be an interesting matchup. When we come back, we'll wrap up with a musical note that, um, A lot of people still remember today from 1971. All ahead on Litter Media Live. First, we want to tell you about litter quality propane online all the time. Customer payment, account information, and more. Log on at litterpropane.com. Dixie Chopper. Speed when you need it. Visit your local Dixie Chopper dealer today or visit DixieChopper.com. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. Wherever you are, you're there for a reason. You shouldn't have to make a trip to the branch just to deposit a check. Skip the trip and use our mobile app to easily and securely deposit checks from your phone. Day or night, wherever you are, or whatever you're doing, download the Kingston National Bank Mobility app today. Are you looking for a beer that satisfies your thirst and love of country? Armed Forces Brewing Company brews beer for patriots. Celebrate freedom with every sip. Armed Forces Brewing Company. Freedom never tasted so good. Haynes Tuttle Healthcare Center is celebrating 50 years of serving the chiropractic, physical therapy, and nutritional needs of the community. 
Click on this ad anywhere you see it on littermedia.com, and it will take you right to their website to learn more, HaynesHealth.com. Our This Date in History takes us to 1971. Uh, sees the release of John Lennon's Imagine, one of the most influential songs of the 20th century. A little over a year after the Beatles broke up, Lennon recorded Imagine in a single session at his and uh, Yoko Ono's country estate. Uh, that's uh, Titanhurst Park with producer Phil Spector, uh, who was known for the Spector Wall of Sound. Unlike other Lennon releases from that era, such as Give Peace a Chance, Power to the People, and Happy Christmas War is Over, the song did not contain an overt political message. And they're still singing it today. Imagine in 1971. But there was some controversy with this song, wasn't there? Uh, there was probably controversy <laughs> with a lot of songs that John Lennon yeah, wrote later on. Yeah, and some things that he said. Yeah. Even with... It, not in his songs. And, um, you know, I read some interesting things about John Lennon, you know, off he, uh, long after his death. Um, in fact, I remember uh, I was working at WCHI when he was, uh, when he had just released his last album, which came out like just a week or two before he was assassinated. So I remember that uh, pretty well. That was a great album. Uh, by the way, I think a lot of things that John Lennon said were probably misunderstood. Maybe he could have worded it a little bit differently. Yeah. Uh, but reading a lot of things about him late in his life that wasn't known until after his death, I thought, wow, I never knew that. But he uh, apparently had um, looked seriously into Christianity uh, he was corresponding with uh, Evangelist Oral Roberts for, I don't know, months, if not not a year, and had at one time said he professed Christianity. Now, how, how he ended up, I don't know. I think that uh, the way the articles were uh, that were written, uh, Yoko Ono was, was kind of like discouraging him in his search for Christianity. So I don't know if John stuck with it or not. We hope he did. But... Uh, fascinating fascinating person and uh, whether you liked his politics or his music he certainly was influential on our culture with the beatles and certainly later on don't forget to join us for our little media radio game of the week tonight Six fifty airtime miami trace at jackson uh and we hope that uh, i guess the uh washington courthouse station is not going to be there so you miami trace fans if you can't get to the game Count on us at Litter Media Radio. Until that time, have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you on the radio tonight.